guys welcome back to my channel so I have another clean with me if you're new here I do cleaning videos about twice a week to motivate you and get you up get you working on your own to-do list so this day I actually had kind of set aside pretty much most of the day to clean the house I wanted to get a lot of things done just like general cleaning even some things that I don't normally do and just get it all tackled and you guys by the end of the day oh my goodness i felt so good and was so glad that i just literally set aside an entire day to do this So in case you missed it, I recently redecorated this area of our house. Um, it was a lot of fun just bringing more color into the space and a little bit of some boho feel, just brightening everything up. Also, I'm using my Norwex claws on my TV. You would not want to use just anything on your TV, but these things are amazing. You're going to see me use them in the bathroom. And I get a lot of questions about that of why there's times I don't use a cleaner. And it's because Norwex claws actually have colloidal silver in them and it kills bacteria on its own. You do have to take care of them in a special way so that they continue you to kill bacteria but once you know what you're doing with them they're really really handy and um, there's something that definitely works well this might sound kind of crazy but my husband actually has a really bad allergy to poison ivy he breaks out so badly with it and anytime that he knows that he's been working around it or gotten it in contact with his skin he will take one of those cloths over the areas that he got in contact with it like on his hands and whatnot and he won't break out so that tells you how how well it takes things off of your skin and off of surfaces it really does kill bacteria and I really see a big difference in how much cleaner my mirrors look I use them a lot I also do use my other cleaners as well I kind of like the combination of both This rug was something I got whenever I did my redecorating and I love it so much. It was a great Amazon find and it was pretty inexpensive as well, but the colors are just so pretty in it. If you guys watch my videos often, you know that I like to do a load a day. This day I actually had two loads of clothing to do and then also I washed our sheets as well. So you're gonna see me keeping the laundry rolling throughout the day. This is one of those things that I don't do very often, but I took the things off of the washer and dryer and wiped them down. I actually keep a shelf liner on top of my washer and dryer. They're kind of scratched up on top and I just think it gives it a more clean look. Plus, it's kind of nice to have whenever I'm folding laundry that my piles of laundry don't slip off the top of the washer and dryer.
This little area I really want to get some rugs for. I need to get one for that garage door, like right inside the garage door. And then also I'd like to get a long rug for in my laundry room. I just haven't found the perfect one yet, but I'm keeping my eye out for them. And I feel like it would eliminate some of the dirt that comes in to that entry area if I had rugs inside the doors. A little side note about my dining room rug. It's actually from a brand called Ruggable and I had worked with them a while back, but it's really, really awesome because you can actually pull the top part of it off and wash it in the washer, um, which is obviously perfect for a dining room with little ones. And we rent this house, so if we owned it, and we may one day, um, we would rip out the carpet in the dining room, but right now it's not ours, so that rug does a great job at protecting what's there. The weather has been getting so much warmer here in North Carolina this week. It's been so beautiful, and this day I think it was like 75 degrees, so I had the windows open, which was perfect for cleaning. It just brings in the fresh air. So every night before I go to bed, I try to run my dishwasher so that the next day, throughout the day, we can reload it and um, it just kind of helps keep my sink area clutter free. It's something that doesn't happen every single day, obviously, but it's always my goal. I used a mixture of the tub and tile from Mrs. Myers and then some baking soda, just shook that over everything and scrubbed my whole sink out.
Cleaning out my microwave is a must every week. In fact, sometimes in between, I will wipe it out. I hate having a dirty microwave. I don't know why. It's just like I hate opening it up to put in some food and it just looks like a mess inside. So that's definitely high on my priority list. I had put a roast in my pressure cooker for dinner on slow cook all day, so it felt so good to have dinner ready after cleaning all day. I love these knobs. They're such a great renter-friendly hack to make your kitchen look a little more updated, but my daughters <laughs> like to come through and turn them and make it so that they're all pointing different directions, so I'm always like trying to fix them. Other than that, they're really great, but they are something that's easy for them to wiggle around and get loose to turn. Whenever I went to edit this, the shoes, the dress up shoes on the windowsill just had me totally cracking up. I edit a lot in our room, so whenever I'm editing, the girls kind of gradually work their way in our room and bring their toys and stuff with them. So this day there was a lot of stuff on the floor and just everywhere in our room. So to use my spin mop, I just mixed a little bit of my Caldrea cleaner and some dish soap. Um, I don't have any sort of thing that I use every single time I mop. It's usually different every time, but a little dish soap goes a long way. <laughs> and I love Caldrea cleaners. They're definitely my go-to and they are from Grove. Next, I moved into our bathroom. It's right off of our bedroom. This is something that's really nice. I've never had a master bathroom, but it's so convenient. And now I think every house that we live in from here on out is gonna have to have a master bathroom.
I always use Mr. Clean Erasers to clean my tub and showers. Um, I just really, really like them. I use them for a lot of different things. They're probably the only thing that I use that wouldn't be considered a natural cleaner. Oh, I also wanted to mention that this bath mat has been a great Amazon find. It has silicone on the back of it, so you can put it in the washer and rewash it a load of times. Plus, it holds a lot of water, so you don't have to worry about water getting all over the floor. Either way, it was really kind of a great little find. I randomly ordered it, hoping that it would be of good quality, and it was. I will leave the link for it in the description box. This was before we went to bed. We'd been gone for the evening and um, when we got back, I realized I needed to put the sheets on the bed and at least pick up the floor so we could walk through here with all the toys and things. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I'd love it if you joined my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that this motivated you and I will see you guys in my next video.